Welcome to the View Toggle Switch Button Tutorial. With SyncFusion View Toggle Switch Buttons, you can toggle actions to switch between checked and unchecked states. In this video, I will show you how to create a view project and add the SyncFusion View Toggle Switch Button component. I will also demonstrate basic features, including setting the checked state, customizing the component's appearance with CSS, handling state changes, and disabling the switch component. Before proceeding, make sure you have installed the latest versions of Vue and Node.js. I'll use Visual Studio Code as my editor and show the output in the Edge browser. To create a project in Vue, open Visual Studio Code and type the command npm create v at latest. I set the app name as my Vue app. Next, choose Vue as the framework and JavaScript as the variant. A view project is created. I navigate to the newly created view app and install the required dependencies using the command npm install. Now the application is configured with the default settings of a V project. To use the SyncFusion toggle switch button component, I type the command npm install at syncfusion slash ej2 view buttons. Next, I must register the trial license key to use SyncFusion components. I open the main.js file and import the register license method from the SyncFusion EJ2 base package. Using this method, I register the trial license key. For instructions on generating a license key, refer to the link in this video's description. Next, I open the app.view file and remove the default code. Add the three main code blocks, script, template, and style. Inside the script block, import the switch component from the Syncfusion EJ2 view buttons package. To use the toggle switch button component, I need to add the CSS styles reference. So inside the style block, I add the fluent style references. Let me add a division element inside the template block and set a class name to align the element. Then add the switch component. By default, it renders in an unchecked state, so I'll enable the checked property to render it checked. Next, to add a label for this switch, let me add a label element above the switch component and set the content to Bluetooth tethering. I also add a class name to the label to align it. Inside the style block, I implement the container class and set styles for display, flex direction, and align items to align the switch component. I'll also style the label class by adding a margin and increasing the font size. With these changes, I run the project using the npm run dev command. Now you can see the toggle switch button in a check state. You can uncheck it easily by clicking it. Next, I'll show you how to add text over the toggle switch button to indicate its states. Inside the switch component, I'll add the on label property and set it to on. Similarly, add the off label property and set it to off. The switch component is now rendered with text indicating the states. Notice that the text off is too close to the right edge of the switch. To fix this, I'll return to the style block and implement the built-in CSS class eSwitch wrapper, then set a custom width. Now the toggle switch looks better. Next, let's change the size of the toggle switch button. It can be in two sizes, default and small. Right now, you see the default size. To make it smaller, simply add the CSS class property and set its value to E small. Now you have a smaller switch. Next, I'll show you how to perform a custom operation when the state of the switch is changed. For example, let's display a list of devices to connect when Bluetooth tethering is turned on. Inside the template block, I'll add a division element below the switch component and add a class name Bluetooth list. 
To control the visibility of this division based on the toggle button state, add the VIF directive and set a variable is Bluetooth on. In the script block, define this is Bluetooth on variable and set it to false using the ref function imported from the view package. I'll change this variable to true when the switch is toggled to the check state. To do that, I remove the checked property from the switch add a change event handler, and assign an event handler method. Next, I'll define the on change event handler method in this script block, which will receive an argument called args. Using this variable, set the current state of the switch component to the variable is Bluetooth on. Let me create a devices variable and assign an array of objects. Inside, add three objects, each with ID and name properties. In the template block, add a span element within the Bluetooth list element and set a class name. Then set the content to available devices. I'll also add an unordered list element with a class name device list. Inside this unordered list, add a list item with a class name device item and use the V4 directive to loop through the devices array. Each list item will get a unique key from the device item's ID property. Inside the list item, I'll add a span tag to display the name property from the device item. As I plan to add a CSS icon for each device item, I add another span tag above and set the built-in class names. To use these CSS icons, I'll add the material CSS reference inside the style block. Additionally, I style the device list and device items for better appearance. Now, when you toggle the switch, the device list appears below. Finally, to disable the toggle switch component, add the disabled property to the switch component and set it to true. Now, the switch component is disabled and cannot be toggled. That's how easy it is to create a view application. Add the Sync Fusion toggle switch component. Dynamically toggle the switch using a button click and disable the switch button. You can download the example in this video from the GitHub link shared in the description below. You can also check the link in the description to see if you qualify for your free community license, which grants you access to all our view products. If you found this video helpful, like and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.